My name is Gita Mehta. I'm an architect, a teacher, and the founder of Asia Initiatives, a nonprofit organization with the motto to help a woman rise. Uh, for 16 years, we have been um, working with underserved communities and setting up 200 microcredit banks, starting village information centers, 40 of them, uh, helping in education and healthcare projects. Uh, but we came to the conclusion that the problem is not money. The problem is that we do not know how to understand and leverage the social capital of communities. We think social capital is more important than money capital. We think you can solve poverty with social capital. But how? How do you do it? And our answer to that is uh, SOCs, Social Capital Credits. Uh, it's a community currency for social good and uh, it is now uh, working in four countries around the world. So what is it? How does it work? It's really simple. The Asia Initiative team works with local partners and communities in what we call Socratic Dialogues uh, to help people uh, visualize and conceptualize what they think they need and what are they willing to do for it and what are the other needs that need to be fulfilled from outside. As an example, uh, a group in Kisumu, Kenya, which is Kisumu is the third largest city in Africa, cleaned up a huge garbage mound in their neighborhood and they made a lovely kitchen garden there. So now they have additional income, they have a better environment and better micronutrients. And uh, uh, with the socks they earn, they're getting solar cookers and uh, smokeless lights. Uh, girls in the slums in Abdamath who dropped out of school are now coming to a center we made. Uh, they have to pay for the center with socks, but they earn socks by teaching five other girls in the community. So there's this whole cascading uh, effect of empowering girls that's going on, and these girls are becoming role models. In Bantama, which is a market in Kumasi, the third largest city in uh, uh, Ghana, uh, market women came together to do the socks project. They are earning socks for getting health checks, for keeping the market clean, keeping the drains unclogged, and for composting. And with the socks they earn, they are uh, getting uh, health care, uh, education for their children in terms of school fees and school supplies, and also microcredit for 12%, uh, which is uh, very low compared to the 43% interest rate for microcredit in that country. Uh, farmers in Maharashtra are making check dams in a very, very dry, arid area so that they can catch the rainwater and, uh, and feed their fields. Uh, similarly, in Chennai with MS Swaminathan Foundation, a wonderful nonprofit, uh, farmers are desilting wells and the farmers uh, redeem their socks for part payment of cows. So now they have two sources of income, the farm and the cow. These are some of the sock books from the field. You can see that people keep meticulous records of what they have earned and done and the sock manager approves them. And uh, so these are uh, sock books from other sites. Using the SOC project, uh, we can also think about global commons, for example, um, and the environment. In Madurai, uh, an entire river is being slowly cleaned through social capital credits. It's a sacred river, Waigai, but it's extremely polluted, and people are earning socks for not letting uh, dumping happen there. We also have an online platform called SOCmarket.org. People who are really good sock soccers, uh, we uh, call them sock stars, and they can become eligible to get sockpreneur grants, which help them to start businesses. So what we think we need more of is not just money. We need social capital. We need a change, and we are the change. Thank you.